Hey YouTube people, this is Crave Collector 01 here today for another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Transformers Generation 2 Power Dive. So here is Power Dive. He's modeled after an Apache um, assault helicopter. As you can see, very nice, nice transparent um, cockpit, nice sticker work. He is part of the rotor force. Um, you just wind this up and it shoots. He does have a uh, DC sticker here on both arms to match his wave mate Ransack, who also has a DC sticker. Um, Generation 2 did a nice job of unifying their lines. Like all of uh, the Rotor Force share the same red light piping, and the Decepticons share some stickers. Um, kind of unifying them and the same as like the sky scorchers they have nice kind of like neon transparent cockpits and stuff that are kind of like the color of a highlighter basically but they did a really good job at unifying their lines with a certain theme but um power dive here he uh, incorporates his gimmick really well it actually does not <clears throat> mess with his uh, airplane mode at all you could essentially lose this piece and still have a decent transformer on its own which is really nice but um, to work the gimmick what you want to do is just wind this up and his works a little differently there's a, a, a lever underneath here you pull back on that and it pushes the button here which pushes shoots the blade as you can see that was just like maybe one whole turn between what i did uh, this will fly across the room if you actually take the time to wind it up so to transform him what you want to do is remove the helicopter blade this isn't necessary to remove the blade i just think it's easier and it makes his weapon look a little bit better and you're gonna fold this back and there you can see what I just love about these guys. That just gorgeous light piping. Then what you want to do is slide this piece up. And then you're going to pull it out. And that's going to become the handgun. Fold that to the back. It just friction uh, slots in. Rotate these guns to the back. Straighten the arms out. Flip the hands out. Then you're going to take the cockpit grab it fold it up and it's going to form the chest then you're going to take these guns pull them out rotate them to the front and pull the feet up and there you have generation 2 power dive in robot mode really nice little figure mine um, is a little back heavy i don't know if that's indicative of every single one of these guys because i kind of mine kind of looks like it has a foot that sits just a hair lower than this uh than his right foot and i don't know if that causes him to be back heavy i don't feel that it does if anything i think it's these guns right here that makes him tilt back but anyway if you get one and it's like mine you can just put the weapon into the hand and he'll stand just fine um really nice you can take this and add it to the front of the gun it makes the gun a little gangly though and i don't i think it looks a little less streamlined i've seen pictures online where somehow people get this to store on the back and i don't know how they do that i've tried to run it up underneath this part here and i can't find a good way of doing it um it looks really cool though when i've seen it because it looks like he's got it right there on his back and it looks really neat but i just can't figure out how to how to do it i don't think it's something it's meant to do but uh yeah you can add his little rotor here to his weapon but yeah really nice um figure gorgeous light pipe and you can just tell that any sort of lighting that this guy is in he, he just glows it's really nice so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this review this quick little review and look at transformers generation 2 power dive this has been Craig Collector 01, signing off.